in order to do that, our Ops Manager should be in version 2.4 or later. We will SSH into our Ops Manager VM and we are going to log in as root. We will go to the following directory home, tempest web, run disk, UAA config. And we're, we are going to review the login.jml file to see our current certificate. Here, in say service provider certificate, we have our current certificate. We will copy it. And we are going to create a new file called opsman.saml.cert. We will paste our certificate here. Now with OpenSSL, we are going to check the start date and the end date of our certificate. In this case, it starts started on 25 of February 2020 and will expire on 2022. Now, to continue, we, if, if we want to rotate this certificate, we will need to connect to the Ruby IRB command line. We will issue the following command that we will need to edit depending on our infrastructure. In this case, we are using vSphere, but you can change it to AWS, Azure, GCP, or OpenStack if you have that infrastructure. We are going to set up the Ops Manager passphrase. With our current passphrase. We are going to get an instance of UAA config. And we are going to regenerate our certificate forcefully. You can save the following data with the new certificate. Now we are going to save the certificate in our database. First we are going to send it. we are going to save it. We can exit the Ruby command line console and we are going to restart the Tempest web service. The first time that we log in into our Ops Manager. It will be locked and we will need our passphrase in order to unlock it. And as you can see now is accessing our Ops Manager with the new cert. In order to check the expiration date of the new certificate, we can do the previous steps. We can get the certificate from login.jml, copy to a file, and use OpenSSL to check it. Thanks for watching.